Hi, it's Cheryl for Bayer's Pampered Stampers. Let's take a look at more new product. Right now, let's look at all to new. This is a clear embossing powder. It's called Pure White. It's an opaque embossing powder, which means it's going to cover over the embossing ink or whatever you put down and give you a nice white surface, a nice white sediment or whatever it is you're embossing. Also from Altenew, here's a fun Stampin' Die set. This one's called Cup of Coffee. It's jumping out of my hands. You've got the cute little stamp, the coffee cup with the steam rising, the word high, and then the die is back here. That's going to cut out your coffee cup. Also, on the coffee theme, I've got a little stamp and die set that's called Coffee Beans. Life happens. Coffee helps. But first, coffee. Stamps of coffee beans. Here they are in the dies. Cut those beans out and use them on your card or your layout, whatever you're doing. So, so much fun. Here's one for the holidays. Um, this is Creative Cookies, and they're gingerbread cookies. You can see them better on the die set. Um, you've got the word sweet and cookie, holiday wishes here, layered stamps to get your gingies. Look at how cute they are. Now, if you use that white embossing powder we just looked at, it would be perfect to get you great definition and detail on your gingies. So, so cute. That's what you get. Finished result. They're pretty small, but totally adorable. So again, these are Creative Cookies, the stamp and die set. Another little stamp and die set is called Be Kind. So we have our friend the Buzzy Bee um, I think it says, hey, B. Oh, dear. No, it says B-E and B-E-E. -E. I make it up as I go. And then the word kind. There's your B. It's intended to be a layered stamp, so you get your yellow and black stripes in. There's the die showing you what it should look like completed. And there's the die in the back so you can see what the completed size would be. A nice petite fun little B set. Also from Altenew, the Fine Frames Square Die Set. Um, do you see a sample of this in the store? It is a very skinny frame. See between those two cutting surfaces there? I'm going to bring it up. Hopefully you can see them. It's very thin, very skinny, but it's a wonderful effect on a card if you want to do that. Um, so much fun. There's three different frames in there. You pick the size that's right for you. A neat, neat effect. So that's the Fine Frames Square Die Set. Here's a layering stencil called, um, I know it's here in something about Tulip. It's called Tulip. It makes these beautiful tulips. It goes with this embossing folder. So you emboss this design and then you can use the tulip embossing, sorry, the tulip stencil to add the color details. Super easy, but a gorgeous result. You can kind of see what those tulips might look on the back. There's three different stencils so that you get the color variegation and everything that you want to see. So you're starting with the 3D embossing folder and then stenciling in your colors. And I believe Melissa has a sample of this in the shop for you to see. Next up, the floating foliage embossing folder. Again, this is a 3D. So beautiful, 
definition here. Lots of layering. Look how pretty it shows on the back. Very cool set. Again, this one's called Floating Foliage. This one is called Layered Snowflakes. You can catch your two corners of the card, for example. Very, very cool. These are six by six, so you have a lot of space to work with. If you remember, the 3Ds are going to emboss better for you if you um, spray your paper down a little bit before you use them. This one is called Waffle Diamonds, also a 3D. Again, lots of dimension. Very, very cool embossing folder. There you can see it on the back. Now switching from all to new, let's look at an Echo Park die. This one is called Be Cute Bunch. That is B-E-E. -E. Very cute sunflower here. You can see it's a nice petite size. There's our flower and some greens that go with it. Also from Echo Park, another flower design die, excuse me, it's called Noteworthy Flowers Die Set. So, so pretty. Again, petite flowers, but they pack a punch. Very, very cool. Now remember, you decide the level of detail that you put into these. I know sometimes these littler dies can be off-putting, but you don't have to use them. You can use markers, you can leave the detail off, you have a lot of choices. So before you discount a set because it's too detailed, look at it and see the possibilities. What can you do to make it simpler for some or all of the uses you have in mind for it? Again, really pretty noteworthy flowers. From Sunny Studio, a fun, fun set. It's called Holiday Hugs. And we have this fun, fun bear who's got his arms placed just right for a hug or to hold on to any of these things at the side. The stocking, the heart, the present, the cupcake, the cocoa. How fun. Holiday hugs, winter greetings, sending warmest wishes. There's a couple of snowflakes. What more can I say? He's stinking cute and would make a darling wintertime card. There is a die set that goes with. That's what it looks like. It's going to cut those bigger words, holiday hugs. It's going to cut the bear. This die is going to go in and it's going to snip out these hands so that they truly can hold these objects. How fun is that? And of course, there's die to cut out each of the objects here. So a fun, fun Stampin' Die set. Sorry, I don't have a sample card for you, but it's really cute. I know that you'll love it. Also from Sunny Studio, a stamp set called Love and Light. Happy Hanukkah, Love, Light got all of the things you would expect to see and be able to use for a Hanukkah card. This gorgeous menorah that stretches across the heart-shaped candles. You know, you've got lots of things. You can also look at it as a garland of stars. You've got a lot of choices on how to see this set and how to use it. Um, you've got your dreidel. Very cool cars done with this, so I encourage you to look online and see what others have done with this set. And you'll see that it's such a fun stamp set, and I believe the dies are on their way in as well. Let's move on to Impression Obsession. First of all, we've got the Cauldron die. How fun is this? There's its size, so it's pretty tiny, 
but it's just absolutely perfect for those Halloween needs. Next up, Mr. Turkey. He looks familiar. I think he may have been in before, but in any event, he's back. It's called Patchwork Turkey. There's the size. You can see it's pretty easy to assemble. Looks like they're small pieces, but they're really not bad in the greater scheme of things. The feathers are going to go together really easy. The body's simple, and the other pieces just sort of fall into place. How fun. Again, patchwork turkey. Next up from Impression Obsession in their Serendipity line, we've got a sunflower. It's called Sunflower Set. Super simple. Look at that dye. There's the stems and everything. So it's pretty easy to cut and place that. Happy Halloween. Perfect words for this time of year. You can see nice size. Halloween is joined together. Happy is joined together. You're not going to be chasing letters with this set. This die is called Poppy Frame. And you get exactly what I said, a poppy frame. So you can see it's not quite a two size, so it gives you plenty of space for a sentiment and other essentials that you need. Super, super pretty card. Very different and distinctive. From Impression Obsession in their Serendipity line, this is Snowflake Reverse. So you can cut out the snowflakes or you can cut out the design and let the snowflakes pop out um, from the background. So it's just a cool, versatile design. So much fun. Again, it's called Snowflake Reverse. And also from Impression Obsession, We've got this little owl guy, perfect for graduates or school kids, back to school cards, that sort of thing. You can see all his pieces are there at his glasses or not. Even his cap is optional. So you have a lot of choices with this. This could just be a plain old hoot owl. How much fun. And when I showed you all to new, I forgot to show you the Stamp Wheel Center Alignment Guides. Altenew has a product called Stamp Wheel, which is a stamp platform or a stamp press that's designed to make it easier to do things like circles and other pattern stamping. This helps to align, but these alignment guides make it easier in your MISTI or other device to get things lined up well. You can see here they are. There's a set of four edges and corners. You can set your paper into that edge and know every time that it's going to stamp in the right place. So again, this is the Stamp Wheel Center Alignment Guides. That's all I have for you right now. Stay tuned because I still have more product behind me. So there's a couple more videos coming up. Thanks for watching. Bye.